could love a good golden shower. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wild Magic School Bus, the most unprofessional d podcast you will ever hear. I, of course, am your DM, Calvin Piper, and these fine folk play the game of D&D with me. Happy New Year, everyone! For those Happy of you who are watching Year. this, uh, this is little... I know, I wanted to get some of those, but I feel like the, I feel like our neighbors would probably not be huge huge fans of that but you know we'll do it just for a second yeah just for a second uh but yeah by the time this comes out it will be january 1st 2024 so happy new year to everybody who's watching this uh and you are all here for the second part of our uh holiday one shot here comes santa claus i have with me the illustrious cast our guest uh appearance of will moon once again appearing for uh the second week in a row wait so is that will moon the varsity esports player he is what? indeed what? The, at, at jbu the varsity <laughs> esports player number so. 11 starting at one of the controllers will moon. <laughs> <laughs> he plays on keyboard weird, um but yeah so tonight's prompt players is you go to introduce yourselves um in honor of Will and his esports uh, <laughs> endeavors, what's your favorite video game? Will, did you hear I have a Steam Deck? <laughs> you have a Steam Deck? <laughs> mm. He's popular now. For real, are you? No, he That's he did. crazy. He does. He just talks about it a lot. He brings it and, and plays it every once in a while too when he's really I bored. Still <laughs> <laughs> when I'm bored during a show. I, I just got it last week. I need to get Baldur's Gate still. Oh, oh so good. Dude, I'm so thinking about getting it as well. I'm Don't open the door to the shed, though, bro. Just don't. I'm going to open up every shit. Don't. Don't. No, no, no. The, you'll know. And it'll be like, don't do it. It'll tell you. Oh, we should probably get to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Will, and I play the North Wind. Um, and probably my all-time favorite video game might be Guild Wars 2. I think what's the game that I played the most in my entire life would probably be Guild yep. Wars 2. Good call. Good call. Hi, I'm Will. Uh, I am playing the level 10 fighter santa um and my favorite <laughs> video game uh it's a tie between uh dark souls 3 and elden ring we spent so much i love that elden your character Souls-Z. sounds like someone that which, didn't study for the test which one have you platinum <laughs> let me ask that question huh? which one have you platinum oh elden ring oh did you really yeah dang that's impressive that yeah, was a piece of cake Easy peasy. Did you beat Dark Souls 3? Elden Ring is an easy game for babies. Yeah, for <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like halfway through the game on my armorless level one run. No biggie. Did you? Me- that I doesn't mean- sound fun. <laughs> <laughs> and yet here he is. And this is why he is the future captain of the JBU varsity esports team. Yep. Woo-hoo. Yep. We're speaking that into existence. Yep. <laughs> Move all over Grayson Dark 2024. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that new Grace year, and new Dark revolution. Is the current current. Oh my gosh! <laughs> new revolutions is sick, Sorry. Calvin. I love that. I'm I'm this is root beer, by the way, in case anyone sees it. Root beer, root beer. Just make sure. This not episode sponsored, brought, sponsored, brought to you by sponsored. Fitz. Oh. Calvin is not straight edge. <laughs> All right, I am Maddie B, and I am playing Scott Calvin, not Santa Claus, uh, the Mark of Sentinel human sorcerer. Matt, how uncomfortable are those glasses? Because it looks like you're trying to pop your nose like a zip. They suck. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> they're I mean, not mine easy are hurting to... my nose, and they're not coming to a point. They're not easy to see out of, I'm going to be honest with you. The, the oh, really? It's difficult to see out of your glasses in. right now? <laughs> Drew doesn't even know we're recording a podcast right now. <laughs> it is funny. Like, I, I only get to see one of you at a time. <clears throat> Unless I look like to the side, I just got the fright of my life when I was looking at Matt, and I was like, oh, I can't see well. And then I looked to the right, just moved my eyes, and like, and there were two. All of them. I can see. There are two <laughs> wills. So that's no, all you can no, see. No, I've got. I'm I've seeing got, double. I've got little little will completely blocked out. Uh, varsity will. <laughs> varsity will. Varsity will. There you go. <laughs> varsity. We're just calling him Varsity. Be Varsity, dumb. varsity Will is kind of sick. Yeah. That's a dope name. That's a great way to delineate. Varsity, scissor me. Scissor me, Varsity <laughs> Will. Scissor me. Scissor me, Varsity <laughs> Will. Zach, save us, scissor please. Scissor me, Varsity Will. What's up? I'm Zach. <laughs> I'm playing yeah, really. Nick. <laughs> God damn it. The, the level 10 Gloomstalker Ranger who's been ousted from his seat on the North Pole by the Grinch invasion. Um... My 
I'm a I'm a Last of Us Two guy. Ooh, Last of Us Part great. Two. Wait, Matt, what was your video game? He didn't uh, say, I but didn't I was trying say. to move us forward. Uh, <laughs> so I loved playing. I loved the story in uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. Also a great choice. Uh, great but choice. I'm gonna be honest with you. I am usually on iRacing racing all the time. <laughs> What is okay. that? I racing. That. I have a steering wheel and pedals and a shifter and all that. Oh, Whoa, whole thing. Like that. Nice. It's a simulator. He's got a rig. It's fun. Whoa. That's another Sick. sport. Actually. Is it really? You, you need to go back to school. You could be varsity too. <laughs> I did do mine. Last of Us Part 2. Last of Us Part 2. Great game. Hello all. This is Dolph. I am played by Drew. Human level 44. <laughs> <laughs> what classes Drew, have you split that amongst? Drew, yeah, Drew is mo- very multi-class. It is lover, artist, and friend. He has he has he's a level four in eleven different. Classes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can I say? Drew is uh, his favorite video game. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? I actually video have game? real friend in uh, Moldova, country of Moldova. His name is Ovidio. It sounds like Ovidio, but uh, never mind. Drew's favorite game is uh, is um, the one with the where you you know Pong. take people out of cars and you drive around and kill. People in the race. Is that Lord of the Rings: Two Towers? Yeah, that, I think that's the one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was that the game where you like start the fire with a stick? I think maybe. <laughs> it sounds right. Arc survival. It's Conan Exiles. Uh, Ooh, which Grand Theft Auto are you talking about? Five. That's the one. Five. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, be sure to enjoy that game here in another eight years when it comes out again. Oh By the time uh, we get through this intro, GTA 6 will be out. You know no, how, like, not even. <laughs> for, for years, everyone's been like, oh my gosh, there's a leak. They're going to put out GTA 6. Oh, it's so exciting. I've, I've been excited for 10 years about GTA 6, and then now they've announced it, and mm. no one cares. No. So they went, afterthought. Oh, guys, new game two years from now. Uh huh. Yeah. There's no hype for it yet, so. Mm. But we're going to get hyped because we're about to jump into part two of our Christmas one shot. Here comes Santa Cocaine. <laughs> Cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> so the last time we were what, here. What's the noise that a gun makes? A little finger gun? Bang. <laughs> finger funeral. <laughs> So the last time we were here, (laughs) Drew, lock it in, dude. (laughs) Take that long to get to the joke? Remember your training. Don't delineate. Last time we were here. Oh, damn it. Now I'm not even. (laughs) We're done. We're never playing this again. We have to finish this one shot. We have to finish this one shot. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's going to be super short. We're going to do it. So the last time we were here, (laughs) our band of adventurers... Santas from different multiverses had been called forth through the great white beyond to the place where... God damn it, Drew! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Drew is unhinged! (laughs) Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! God bless us, everyone! I don't see it. I don't know why I'm getting called out. I don't get it. He's trying to eat like a normal crazy old man. (laughs) (laughs) Crazy old Maurice. The... Santas have been called together from across the great white beyond to help the Santa Prime, the Father Christmas, save Christmas not only for his world, but for all of the worlds. Quickly given a description of where they were supposed to go and what they were supposed to do, the Santas made their way to Toyland on top of the wintry hill where they encountered Frosty. And a quick check, they determined Frosty was up to no good. So they quickly dispatched Frosty and his band of little snowmen before discovering to their horror that the snowmen were imprisoned elves who some of them now lie dead in the streets of Toyland. The horror. But they have a mission. Find the entrance to Santa's workshop and save Christmas. And that is where we find ourselves tonight with the... Santa's gathering their wits after the battle is over and seeing there are several, several elves, uh, many of them dead, 
Uh, but others picking themselves up and coming to after realizing what had happened to them and their icy entrapments. Uh, <coughs> but what do you guys want to do in this moment? Hey, elf, what happened? Your good idea in why, why are you why are you in, why are you inside of a a snowman? Uh, you look over at one elf who's kind of like picking himself up and he's What happened? That's what I'm asking. I'm asking you. Are you Scott Calvin? Yes. Y- <laughs> no, you're you're a Sa- you're Santa. The Scott mm, Calvin. Scott Calvin. <laughs> He's the fellow what made the turbo tank. I'm sure you've heard of him. You, you're all Santas. Well, thank you very much. The little I got confirmation. How does Santa Yay. adjacent? How, is, uh, how does that? They're work? all Santas. Well, yes, but what are you all doing here? We're here to save your weak, pathetic Christmas of this world. <laughs> that has come under attack by some mysterious force. Are you part of uh, attack or are you innocent bystander? W- no, no, no. We, we, uh, we were here in Toyland. Hold on, let me check my list. See on my naughty list? Uh, check it again. What a great question. No, he's not. <laughs> okay. We should all. We shall believe him. He is not on naughty list. But has he been cross-checked? I pull out my naughty list as well. He is also not on your list. That's Great. checked and checked twice. Everyone knows that's all the due diligence you need. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a name that they had. Don't even know what his name is. Yeah, um. B- so bullshit. I'm Saint. I freaking Santa Rudolph Claus. I do know. His, What's his name? name? Winky. Every elf I first meet is named Winky. <laughs> Winky. Is that racist? <laughs> Winky. Is that a slur? What's no. up, Winky? <laughs> elf slur? <laughs> that is classic naming convention of elves. When first meeting elf, it is addressed as Winky. This is what Rudolph thinks. <laughs> and then when that elf first picks up a tool, then they become, oh, you're Winky Hammer. Clinky. <laughs> Clinky. Winky and Clinky. <laughs> and Dipsy and Lala and Poe. <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> Nick um, is um, <clears throat> retrieving an arrow from the tree, the one that pierced Frosty's hat. Mm. You see him pull the arrow out. Take a quick look at the hat. I dare you to put it on. Pop it on his head. Dips, dips the arrow into a, a small pouch um, on his hip, and it comes out covered in ink, and he just starts poking the shape of the top hat into his arm. Jeez! Um, so cool. The elf is kind of like figuring stuff out as you all are talking to him. He's like, no, in answer to your question, I'm not a part of whatever this is. Me and my compatriots were all here in Toyland when Frosty ascended and cast a spell, trapping all of us mm. into those snowmen that you saw. Question. Uh, was there anyone else with Santa? Well, not with Santa, but with Frosty. Was it just Frosty or were there like others that we should be worried about? Because if it's just Frosty, we're just going to go and shake the globe and everything's got to be... Right back to woo Toyland. Well, now that you mention it, yeah, there was someone else. I don't remember who though. He was tromping around in these giant boots. I tromping heard. around, you say? Like walking around. I mean, they were okay. They were massive boots, bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Like a. What? Like giant Santa? Maybe. I don't... don't... Oh, he didn't sound like Santa. What he sound like? You you show me what he sound like. Well, he didn't speak. No. He oh, just... Well, just make the noise he made then. I don't know. I, 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 I looked at his face and... I, could, I couldn't tell you what it looks like, but... Oh, that was God. Yeah, when me... you see the face of God, you, you can't even understand it. It was... He gave me a God. wink and a nod, and I... I knew I had nothing to fear, but I guess I did. Sorry, it's been a really traumatic evening. History check. Make a history check. Can you do like um, an imitation of like how he walked Maybe. around? And absolutely. Like, what did he look point. like? Like while he was kind of walking around, was he like all confident? Was he a little like hunched over? What was his? What was his? Seems deal? like a performance check is in order for this elf. Um, mm-hmm. that's what I want. He uh, sure. Basically. <laughs> 
Show he basically for me. <laughs> he tries to describe Ben's monkey. He tries to <laughs> describe uh, th- what this was as best he can. But the more he talks, the more you realize he doesn't even know what he's trying to describe. It's as if he saw it, but something has caused him to forget it. Mm. And anytime he tries to like re like like refresh his memory on what it was, it keeps slipping away. Biblically so, accurate angel. It was yeah. the man in mm. black. Kind of. Um, so, where can where can we find this? I'm, I'm trying to get home. I'm not. I'm Scott Calvin. I'm not trying to be here. Yeah, you said I'm that. I'm not already. Santa. Um, we're. I'm trying to get to this globe that we got to shake. You know, a globe that has a Christmas tree. Like, not every single one of them doesn't have a Christmas tree in it. But the whatever. S- the snow globe. Yes, the snow globe. Yeah, I'm assuming it's in the Santa's workshop. Okay, where where do we go from here? Well, we're not allowed into the workshop. Oh, we well, are. we got permission. Oh, well, then you know how to get in. No. Just yeah, we can figure it out. Just point us in the right direction. Yeah, it sounds like you're trying to gaslight us or something. I don't <laughs> like this. this no, 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 Just no. show me the I, door. All I can tell you is, is that I'm just trying to get home, but I can definitely tell you that if you don't figure out what it is we're supposed to do or at least be like forward about it I can tell you uh, old Dolph over here is probably going to do something to your face yeah I'm, intimidation I'm, I'm being super honest no 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 I'm not trying to deceive you at all listen we, this guy is just finally on board we need to capitalize on this moment because he's wishy-washy and I'm and I'm with you on that anybody who tells me they're definitely not lying to me I'm going to check that out what about a 25 uh, insight check on definitely that? not lying like perfect Intimidation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just says it. Yeah, um, I like that Dolph, the like reindeer a... that eats people, is familiar with the concept of emotionally gaslighting someone. I like that the reindeer <laughs> Listen, that eats people it comes from a world where there is God, but Christmas celebrates the birth of the first snowman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot going on. It's a on. weird world we live in. Or when they God live in. walks lives amongst in. you, yeah, that's what happens. If there's a... What's going on in your world? Dude? Is Santa Prime? Do you think that there's an Optimus Clause? <laughs> These are the real questions. Those are the real questions that we're not going to answer. Um, the elf is being truthful. Uh, he truly does not know, and he continues to explain it. Such he goes, as elves, we're not privy to Santa's workshop. It's his secret place. It's where he creates the magic of Christmas and the toys and the spirit of Christmas. Yeah, okay. that is that is the classic cover for toxic <clears throat> toxic uh, leadership right there. You, no, none of these closed doors things. I mean, it's worked out pretty well for the hundreds of years we've we've done it. Look, has it? He had to bring all of us here. Well, this is an extenuating circumstance, considering that someone is actively trying to kill Christmas. Okay, let's put aside the fact that there's very questionable work practices going on here. Where's the door? Can you like we don't us? we don't know. You know I like, find it ironic that, it's you in think that there's questionable practices happening here, and the first thing I saw of you was wiping blood off your face because you had just killed Santa Claus. Old Santa was old and weak and annoying, and he was toxic too. Don't listen. We don't need to talk about that. Didn't you just kill Santa Claus today too? I did not. He slid off my roof. He wasn't even supposed to be on there. I got to call State Farm when I get back home. Oh, wait. Did he slide off your roof? No. no. Your? No. No. Your? My? No. Your? Oh, your roof. You did, in fact, kill Santa. No. It's a roof, and I told him. I didn't give him permission to be up there. Why'd pretty... you put your roof underneath his feet? Yes, pretty... because I moved an entire house underneath his feet while he was floating. Case closed. How'd you do that? You got the, you. You are very good ladies at getting that admission got out of it. <laughs> <laughs> <We> got, love, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen of the jury, <laughs> I rest my case. The elves all just attack him again. Twelve <laughs> elves stand up and they say, "Hang him!" <laughs> <laughs> I love that the one guy that showed up in his boxers is the only guy in here that seems like he's not lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is what well, you need to understand. We all come from different worlds. Our perspectives are unique. You, I think you should be more understanding than trying to force your worldview upon us. Make like your boxers in anybody's world open. other than my own. I just want to go home. I'm well, not this, Santa uh, Claus. I'm Scott Calvin. Scott well, the while we're killer dealing with Calvin. These, everybody's questioning who murdered Santa. <clears throat> uh, Nick is just gonna... We said these are... Elf-sized buildings, mostly. Mm-hmm. Nick is gonna just 
clamber up on top of one, see if he can get a vantage point, find himself a something that looks like Santa's workshop. Sure, make a survival check. Oh yeah, look you know that would be great a, for me. What would <laughs> sure, you it's more of like looking for a normal sized building. building. building <laughs> yeah, I need I need a building that an adult human man can fit in. <laughs> That's a twenty-two. With a twenty-two, the winter wonderland around you is vast. There is nothing in the immediate area other than the small house at the bottom of the hill where you were summoned that looks to be Santa's workshop. What? Do you think it's underground? I one time I I had a situation nice. where I, I went to place I was told there was danger on the hill. Mm. And uh, turned out there was dragon under the hill. It was just like, you know, hiding right there. Maybe there's caves. Okay, uh, I, one of my favorite terrains uh, is the Underdark. Hey, mine of is course. too. Did I, you, hold what, on, did you make Arctic Mountain and Underdark? Oh my god, we made the <laughs> same. We are adjacent <laughs> universes. That's incredible. <laughs> Was so, the logic because you're fighting on the tundra, maybe on a mountain and definitely in a cave? Absolutely. Holy shit. Was. Are we brothers? The, the are, line, we, are we brothers? <laughs> the lines between your are world are very thin. Hell yeah, brother. Adjacent brothers. <laughs> if you kiss, you make Mecca Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we're allowed to do that because of um, the universes and stuff. I, don't, I, I think we can't. And I don't see a mistletoe anyways. Listen, I have not real good perception, but Nick I can tell you want to do it. pulls up to hide his mistletoe tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, it's where you have... Uh, uh, what hung is with it? care. Hung with care. That's mistletoe. Oh, oh no. <laughs> not the frat bro boxers. Um, okay. But... Yeah, so you guys can look around here if you want to, or you can, uh, but you can see the elves are beginning to gather their dead. Uh, some of them are beginning wow. to. Uh, Jeez. You killed a bunch yeah, of let them. Let me pull my arrows out of seven of them real quick. <laughs> Good lord. Each time you're like, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, as they're gathering, uh, the elf that's been speaking to you all is like, um, he's like, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't be of uh, much help beyond telling you it's around here somewhere uh this is where father christmas comes uh to get to his workshop okay when um, you've watched but, him does he like walk someplace and disappear or climb down hole or something like this like what where where give it point us to the direction where you last see him one of these buildings oh my god so we search every building and i pick one and walk in yeah stepping into the building you walk I into 10 uh you can see this is a uh, this is like a standard elf kind of like factory area. There's like an assembly line with a bunch of toys and stuff just kind of scattered throughout here. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, in fact, some of it that is usable if you want to peruse it. I will peruse. Okay. It's uh, do you want to? Perusable. Do you want to? Just like I can me. give you the list of things, or you could just pick one and. Uh, randomly. Up to you. One sounds good. Alright, go ahead and roll a d10. Yep, d10. A one. You, you see You're on a... Mark. You see leaned up against one of the uh, doors that leads off to a giant stable, or a long, a long stable off to one side. You can see there is, leaned up against uh, the door to the stables, is a uh, reindeer antler. Uh, beautifully carved, uh, smaller than you would expect for a reindeer, but it is intricately carved with runes across the entirety of it. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. You acquire the antler. Uh, <laughs> once a day, you may summon a elk familiar. Nice. I'll take it. I'm just going to put that in my bag. I'm going to use that when I get back to my Giant elk. Plane. Giant elk, I think, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to use that on um, and you can summon, mm. it, it, you uh, call one of the reindeer by name. Call one of the, the eight reindeer by name. And it'll, it will summon. If you say Rudolph, yeah. does that mean he has to do it? <laughs> <laughs> He's um, but yeah, show you, up. you find that. Make <laughs> an investigation check while you're, while you're uh, in there. That would be awesome. You show up in my world. <clears throat> right. Uh, uh, seven. Nothing in here that gives an indication of a workshop area. Anyone else want to look around? Oh, oh absolutely. Around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
all picking different places? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's just it's um, so make your investigation checks. Oh, that's sick. I'm really good. Great investigation. Uh, add a D4, Scott Calvin. You got 24 hours. Uh, no You're sign of any ceremony. entrances. However, you do find magical items as well. Would you like to roll a D10 and, and pick a magical sure, item? Sure, I'll roll a D10. 10. You find... Sorry. You find what looks to be a tiny device that uh, is set along... It, it's set with a bunch of, like, radiators and window air conditionings and other strange, like in-home HVAC devices. And it's a little <laughs> tiny like <clears throat> clip that clips to a belt. Uh, and you can, you clip it, you like pick it up and you look at it and one of the elves walks over and he's like, oh, that's the uh, anti-chimney device. What? Twice a day you can use it to teleport yourself to places that you wouldn't normally without chimney access. You can cast Dimension Door twice a day. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Cool. So yeah, you have the anti-chimney device. So wow. Santa's got to get in the house somehow. Um, all right. So, would you roll for investigation? Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, yeah. I mean, this this one seems to be more of a residential uh, place, but not a lot in here that would immediately have a giveaway. There are some magical items though. If you'd like to roll a d10 and get something from there. Sure. Uh, Zach, would you roll? Five. Five. Nothing in your house but magical items for sure. Uh, Drew, would you roll? Seven, but I'm looking for the other reindeer because I need to talk to someone mildly intelligent. Uh, there are no reindeer here. Mother. But there are magical items if you'd like to roll for a magical oh, item. Oh, yeah. Would you roll? Eight. You find a uh, lump of coal that is warm to the touch. <laughs> uh, Perfect. <laughs> Yes, can I investigate this? See what it is? Dolf checks you his naughty list pick it up. Again. It's a lump of coal that's warm to the touch, and one of the elves goes, oh, Yeah, that was something Santa was working on. Uh, you could throw it at bad guys. Oh, cool. Or, okay. if you're having bad menstrual cramps. I mean, I've not been really uh, good. Sorry about that again, Dolph. I've not been really uh, great at throwing things, people. But okay. Oh, well, get better. Right. Um, good luck. Uh, did you roll? A seven. Seven? You... No, no, I rolled a seven on the D10. You find a snowball. Nice. Uh, found a bunch of these outside, too. Uh, yes, but this one is, uh, <laughs> is special. Um, if you <clears throat> throw it in a certain, certain arc, it disperses cold magic and can hurt a lot of people with your cold magic. Uh, so that is a snowball that can cast Cone of Cold. Nice. nice. Hey, you elves are all right. Thank you. What you roll? Eight. Eight. <clears throat> you get... You get a candy cane uh, in the shape of whatever you want it to look like. Oh, God. Vixen. No. They in the form of a weapon. <clears throat> oh, of a weapon? Mm -hmm. Great. A sharpened candy cane. You find a sharpened candy cane. Yeah. So it's a plus one whatever weapon you want. Lance. Mm -hmm. yes. Plus one lance. Nice. And it is magical in terms of attacks, so it is magical nice. attacks. So. Um, but nice. yeah, as everyone's looking around, uh, <laughs> Scott, with a 17, you're the only one who notices something he different. He's the one true Santa. <laughs> You are in a building there. It looks like elves kind of like live here and sleep here. But you notice they have a uh, fireplace that is abnormally large. Like everything in here is tiny. This seems average size. Which is really big for elves. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to walk over and mm -hmm. can I investigate and see if I see anything? Yeah, make an investigation check. One of those fake ones with the gas logs. That's mm -hmm. what you find. It's mm -hmm. only at 11. 11. It looks like a chimney. There's a little bit of a fire in it, but not too bad. Do you want to call your compatriots over to come look at it with you? or? Hey, guys. The, do you see this? 
I don't know much about. I don't have a chimney back home, but uh, you 100 percent have a chimney back home. I do. Yeah. What? Why was Santa on your roof if you don't have a chimney? That's uh, hello. Did it's you watch the movie? The it, did you watch the movie? It appears. In the movie. No, it doesn't. It yeah, does. Absolutely. He literally gets sucked down. And he's like, whoa, 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 "That's in the house with the radiator." Appears. That's in the house with the radiator. That's not his house. I got it. You guys keep keep going. <laughs> um, Yo, this is really important. <laughs> very important information. Uh, oh, I'm making fun of them, not you. Hey guys, no, uh, no. did you see this? Forgive me. Uh, fireplace over here. It's way bigger than the other ones. Most of the I mean, it's normal, here, but it's way bigger than the other ones. Does it look weird to you? Or out big. of place? A little big for these little guys. Is it a brick fireplace? Hmm? <clears throat> Can I start messing around with the bricks? Make an investigation, check. Is there a fire going in it? A little bit. Well, be careful. Uh, but uh, I made of metal. I rolled a three. Uh, yeah, it's it's just <laughs> a brick fireplace as far as you can tell. <laughs> well, it's good as a uh, good time as any to tr- t- test being Santa Claus. Okay. I'm going to try to go up it. How? Santa's always wiggles his nose right before he goes up. I'm going to stand next to it and wiggle my big red nose. I thought this was going to take so much longer to figure out. You instantaneously, much like the uh, flu uh, flu powder effects of uh, Harry Potter, just... <laughs> Diagonally. <laughs> Yeah, he says diagonally. No, he doesn't. He's never seen right. Harry Potter. Come on. Yeah, Dolph is gone. Uh, uh, right. There was a chimney, and I'm going to try and do the same thing he did. There was a chimney at Scott Kevin's house? Yeah. Suck it! Um, sorry. Continue. Sorry. I love <laughs> Why you. Why is Reddit um, weighing in on this? <laughs> Are they I, listening to us right now? part of a larger Hold theory on. that want... Santa staged the whole accident. I, I want these two guys to appreciate the fact that that the fight they got into has been covered by the trolls of Reddit. Like, you're sharing headspace with those guys. Yeah. yeah. No, I share so, every, everything so the, red, the Reddit. Reddit. You would be surprised at how much headspace I have to share with Reddit in my life. <laughs> we all play Dungeons stage. and Dragons, okay? Let's not no, get high and I, mighty about this. No, yeah, but I have to DM it, so <laughs> it's... Weekly, weekly, on Tuesdays. I, I, am, I am on Reddit, Reddit a lot for a lot of stupid stuff. Um... Anyhow, yeah. So Dolph is gone. What are the rest of you do? I follow him. Do you? You also wiggle your nose. Works already. Yeah, oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. And one by one. Yeah. One by one. You all uh, get shunted through this fireplace that I thought was going to take a little bit more time to figure out, uh, <laughs> and find yourself in a workshop. A workshop the likes of which you've never truly seen before. I mean, some of you have probably seen it, but it is massive. There are strange arcane objects kind of scattered throughout here. There is uh, what looks to be uh, toys of weird shapes and varieties. But the most interesting thing that you immediately notice as you all step into this room is that it is lined floor to ceiling with shelves. All of them snow globes. All right, I'm out. (laughs) <laughs> hmm. Didn't expect this. A snow bun- a snow globe with a tree. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, since you are so good at making things fall off other things, why don't you get the shaking? <laughs> I no, told no, no, you hang on, hang on, hang on. <coughs> I didn't do it. I was reading a book to my kid Charlie. Hey, listen, I was just I trying to something. make a connection. I didn't mean to start the thing. I was like, you know, Talking about your life, trying to make connection, you know, like, hey, I know you, buddy. Well, I don't know how to make things fall because I didn't listen. Make it, it just fall. seems you're very upset right now about. I am. Who, I want to be pr- at home. I showed up in here in what I sleep in. I mean, listen, you're Silk a Santa. Boxers. You're a Santa. Just have fun, right, jolly old elf. I'm not Santa Claus. As you say that, you you say that and like gesture, and out of the corner of your eye. You look at one of the snow globes, and it is reflecting a picture-perfect version of Santa. You're like, who is this Santa in the... Oh, it's you. Why is this happening to me? I go walk over it, over to it, uh-huh. and grab it, and shake it. Okay. 
Uh, make a perception check for me as you shake this snow globe. Instantly start throwing up by. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Lesson learned. Don't mm. shake the whole world blood. shakes. Um, <laughs> Add a d4. Every ability check for 24 hours. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> you said perception? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Uh, 11. 11? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You shake it, nothing happens. Anyone else looking around this room I want to try to figure shake stuff out? something with athletics check. <laughs> shake it hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, make a little perception check to He's see not, if I see anything. He Go said ahead. front and center. Is there anything on display in here? There is. Uh, 18 looking for the. The whole... You look front and center <laughs> in the under middle of the, in the middle of this room, literally under a on a pedestal, under a light. There is a little bit larger than average snow globe with a Christmas tree, a beautifully decorated Christmas tree in the center of it. North, as you are looking around at all these other snow globes, you pick one up and look at it. <clears throat> this snow globe is a topical view of a place that is filled with sci-fi looking buildings. I look at 2077 Mm. and I just... You shake it. (laughs) Uh, You see 2077 kind of like twitch a little bit but he doesn't react. You feel like a weird chill when that happened. They're multiplying. Mm. Losing control. Worry, lose control. Um, yeah, but that's what you see. Okay, uh, cool. I will set it back. We'll say before we go about grabbing this globe and shaking it, and everything's good. I'll grab your globe and shake it. <laughs> what? Why is Scott Callis? <laughs> Scott, <you? laughs> chill out. Weird, uh, Scott, um, we're on a mission. I'm, I'm trying to get you home, Scott. <laughs> the the other thing he doesn't have any other male with an 18 so he's learning how to talk to (laughs) peers Uh, north with an 18 I will tell you a couple other things okay you see out of the hundreds of snow globes that are on these walls there's a good majority of them that are dark like no light coming from them okay yeah including the one you are currently holding the light from it there are a few that still have lights in them but the majority of them are dim What's the, what's the one in the middle like? Uh, funny you mention that. The one in the middle is brightly lit and swirling with snow. Hmm. I got a bad feeling about this. I was gonna say your you know, bad feeling is. Oh gosh, this was the bad feeling. Warranted as stepping around a corner, not wearing his red and brown robes anymore, but crimson armor is father christmas as he has a helm under one hand and a giant scythe in the other uh, as he towers over all of you and he goes so you found a way into the workshop excellent this is where our journey ends and by journey i mean your lives are you are you <laughs> gasping at the book you're reading or at the <laughs> God damn it it sounded like you just got you good. She was, <laughs> like, she was like, oh no, these guys are going to die now. <laughs> she does this all the time. I'll be doing something and she'll be like, oh, I'm like, what? She goes, this book I'm reading. I'm like, oh. can I do a quick investigation? <laughs> Those Judy B. Jones snowball. books are crazy. Inve- yeah, make a quick investigation check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought? Dysentery at 14? 18. 18? Yeah. You, you glance at all of the things as. Uh, the Father Christmas begins to uh, begins to di- monologue a little bit, mm-hmm. uh, and as you're kind of like frantically looking around, you can see there is one that immediately looks of the dark and uh, faded tundra that you know to be uh, your home. How far is it? It's right next to you. Oh great! I'm gonna grab it. Okay, you pick it up. Cool. Um. But as Father Christmas continues, he goes, You see, I discovered not that long ago that there were centers all over the multiverse. And this bothered me, being that I thought I was the only center. So I devised a way to use my Christmas magic to call centers to my world. First as a way to try to explain to them that there can only be one center. 
And then when they wouldn't listen, to end them. And that brings me to you all. Some of the last vestiges of your worlds of Santa Claus. And the need to, for you to be eradicated. I apologize for the theatrics, but Santas are not as trustworthy once you get down to the bottom of the barrel. Anyway, apologies for this, but now we come to the end. By the end, I mean your lives. You know, I don't much like being called Santa anymore. Or hearing the same threat twice. And I like being called bottom of the barrel a whole lot less. Now that's unfortunate for you. Apologies, as he picks up the scythe and choom, puts his helmet on. Uh, nice so roll. Any, initiative. I'm gonna roll initiative. All right, roll initiative. Rage. Let's do it. Rage. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, can I? Do we get to do something before we start? In can that I... moment, he was telling you like, "You're ready. You're getting ready to die." Like, cast you... a bonus action spell. Yeah. For you. Uh, sure. Cool. You want to do a little quick... hunter's mark? <laughs> I'm quick. rallying Ching. the group together. Another like, more yeah. temp HP. Oh uh, well. <clears throat> well Four. Four. Four nice. temp HP, you guys. Four temp. All right. Sick. All right. Yeah, we are mark in it guy. to win it. Uh, this will be... Uh, I have a map if you guys want to do it or if you just want to fight Santa. Absolutely. A Get a map in there. Oh, right. Wait, is it a physical map or a it's on, map? It's on your D&D Beyond. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be I've easy. never I was just saying like so much work. stuff. <laughs> hey, Scott, do you well, let's see what happens. Your, uh, Hey, out of curiosity, mm -hmm. yeah. is Santa is Santa a fae? <laughs> yes, he is. Because I just uh, that happens to be one of my favorite enemies. <laughs> just good to keep track of. Of course. I also have a question. Mm -hmm. We've known this Santa for more than a minute, correct? Yes, we have. Okay, so <laughs> we're I we talked to him for a while. Earlier. Compared to my own, mm -hmm. I know his strength, Dex, Constitution. Uh, his AC, his current HP, and his total level. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry, what? Print off that character yeah, sheet. So I, body, I have the ability called Know Your Enemy. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Uh, so I know his strength score, his dexterity score, his constitution score, his AC, and his current HP. Will you just say all this? Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Yay. So now we can't get DM'd where he's like, oh, this is going Scissor too me fast. Varsity. Gonna... <laughs> Bam, <baby. laughs> I feel like it should be Scissor Me Varsity Will. And he just gets he does the dub and you get the double. Okay. Uh, if you go to your character sheet, there's a little play button up near the top right corner that should give you access to the uh, map itself. Nope. Nope. Never once has this worked for me. Come on, guys. Famous, famously, that's a I know problem, famously though. it doesn't work for you. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, button. Yeah, I don't have a play wow, button either. Wow, it looks either. in his workshop. What the heck wow. is this? I'm going to look real quick. I want to see Whoa. I mean, so I did use the character sheet I've of got Sir the Arthur Grimm. It just doesn't work. Yeah, I don't have. Whoa. Is this is wrong. This is what it happens. I'm still doing the every work. Time this is what happens every time we play. Uh, what is this? D&D okay. Beyond doesn't like me. That's oh, it's sweet. But that's not your fault. That's a D&D Beyond problem. you can build maps and stuff on D&D now. Dude, holy all right, let's do this thing. <clears throat> yeah. All right, well, can we can roll initiative or what? You can do other, other people's. Like, yeah, 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 absolutely. I'll keep looking over Drew's shoulder. I'm freaking All right. love doing beats so much. Man. It's super cool. Okay. And it's nice because then I can actually like put it on the... Put it here for the world to I see. Put on... <laughs> Calvin, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess Father Christmas up. I, would, I expect nothing less. I'm going to ruin his day. I got maneuvers that I can finally do. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, if if we kill him too fast, can we pretend? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, so what's his AC and HP? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> got his shit rocked. Always right. have a wheel moon. Yeah, apparently, always have a little I didn't even know world. that this was a thing until I made my <laughs> character. I was like, what the crap is this ability? This would never happen any other time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it literally and takes yeah, a full minute. Are. So unless that combat's taking ten rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to like, That's interact crazy that you with have your to, enemy? Is that what it is? You, you just have to observe them? You have them? to observe them. So, like, so you could like, could hide and yeah. watch. And he, so he did it. That's when you were talking to Santa at the beginning. Father Christmas at the beginning. You did. You you observed him. I was looking. At him. So, yeah. 
that it's goofball. It's very funny. Well the done. Between like, yeah, do, getting that at the end of combat. And, and it having, get it, having it from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to do... The thing is crazy. That's, that's <laughs> Who's going to keep the tally? Well, I'm he can pull up the characters. So Santa, no. Dolph, <laughs> Nor. Hey, does he have how more? Scott you right and now? Nick. Mm-hmm. You're jacked up, right? How much did you <laughs> kick your butt? We ruined your day. You had a bad time. <clears throat> oh, he's big. All right. So this room is Beans. not as good as I wanted it to be. So I'm just gonna put you guys in the room. This is not the. Unfortunately, this wasn't like the cut and dry one that I've made. This is another version. So just bear with me, guys, as we do this. And we'll go ahead and kick off initiative with 25 to 20. Oh, I 20. I forgot to roll initiative. Ooh. I don't think so. I'm the goat for real. <laughs> I rolled I'm just that good. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, cool. Hmm. Uh, just Nick with... Okay. Yep. Uh, 20 to 15. 17. 17. Nice. 16. For 16 for Scott. Scat. 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 Uh, Scat. Kill. North, what'd you roll? 40. And 20. 10. 10. 14 for North. All right. So, technically so top Claus, of the round, Nick, you're up. Uh, how uh, oh, how how close is Father Christmas to anybody else? Uh, so we'll look at it here. You're about 15 feet away from everybody. 15 feet. Oh, perfect. That's an excellent number. It's, I'm glad that you would say 15 feet. Um, where is the uh, snowball? Uh, right about where he's standing. Okay. Yeah, right about where he's... Oh, I can zoom in. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Right so, about where he's standing. So, um, I will say... Real quick, uh, Santa, because you need to know this information. Go ahead and get. Go ahead and tell me what you need to know one more time. Uh, his strength score, his dex score, his con, uh, his AC, his hit points. That's, I don't really care about level because that doesn't really matter. That's fine. But, I mean, you can tell um, me if you want. His strength is a 26. Good lord. Nice. That's a lot. Uh, what else do you want? His dex. His dex is a 19. Okay, his con. His con okay, is sure. a 21. All right. That's AC. Good. His AC is an 18. And current HP. Current hit points, 201. Huh. Oh, Dalmatian. No, that's one. What was his AC? 18. Jesus. 18. Easy peasy. Uh, got the All right. Bag. Nick. You're up with Dolph on deck. All right. You've already cast uh, hundreds, two hundred marks are currently cast on him, Doubly and I am going to say this because this is going to be fun, and because this is how we play these games. Because you are parallel Santas, I will let your hunter's mark stack. Oh, nice, <laughs> Calvin. I'm about to roll so many dice, dude. <laughs> I know. I think this will be fun to watch. So, first Gloomstalker turn. Gonna go ahead and roll three attacks, but before I do that, I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast Lightning Arrow. We made the same Did character. You? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. This is the best day ever. Oh. <laughs> this is great. I love watching. This is the this is D and D. People coming together. This is, I mean, it should. I think we should get to benefit from each I other's mean, hunters. Mark. We are literally the same. Thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna cast Lightning Arrow, and basically what that does is instead of the damage um, that. An arrow would have its 4d8 of lightning damage okay. instead. Yeah. Um, if there were somebody within 10 feet of him, they would also take damage, but 15, we're cool. Nice. We're cooling out here. Uh, so the first attack mm-hmm. is a 20. 20 going to hit. Uh, a math 20. Second, that's the lightning arrow. Math mm-hmm. 20. Second one, regular old arrow. <laughs> natural 20. Jeez. <laughs> Third third attack uh-huh. is the one that gets the the extra D eight of mm-hmm. damage because it's the dread ambusher. Uh, that is a twenty three. Yeah, that's all gonna hit. So time, let me just collect time, some D eights real quick. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. Zach's trying to get home before yeah. nine o'clock. Uh, it seems like it. Really. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. We're, this is when we know the HP. We can wrap this up quick. Oh, and Michelle's gonna eat a bean. Are you gonna be hanging <laughs> out you, with you, your hot musician girlfriend? 
at her bar after oh, this. Oh, is that dirty sock? Not, not at the bar. No, oh. I think. Is that rotten egg? No, I think it's dirty dishwater or birthday cake. Deep birthday cake. Oh. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> three for three? You Babe. can't even finish chewing it, your card. You know, you know there, ha there, there have to be instances where on that conveyor belt, on that line that creates these boxes, the good ones just accidentally jam and they just keep filling oh, with so only bad ones. You know, I'm going to need it. extra Hunter's Mark dice too, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Okay. The smell this is lightning thing. damage plus Hunter's Mark. Yeah, it's got to be bad. <sighs> 20 plus five. Uh, that's 25 for the lightning arrow. And then we've got the crit. Yeah. It's crazy that we know how many hit points he has. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting until you finish and then I'll subtract it. <laughs> <laughs> the crit, that's, that's uh, 19 plus five is 24. It's 49. Mm -hmm. And then the dread oh the dread amateur gets an extra D eight which is doubled, which means it's four D eight again. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of ones. Uh twenty six. Seventy five points of damage. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> How many? Seventy five total. Just do that three oh, more. Pulling a let <laughs> I can't, pulling, I can only yeah, do it I'm once. gonna give him my turn. Pulling a Legolas. <laughs> You grab three arrows. So yeah, this is this is what I was. This is what's in my brain. Mm -hmm. Is from the other from the other hip, draws a, 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 a an arrow wrapped with a single copper coil. Mm -hmm. um, that as it passes through the edge of the bow, it static charges, which is magically enhanced as it oh, flies. Yeah. And then drawing the bow as per usual. He sees the lightning arrow land and flips it onto the back of his wrist and draws two more Jeez. arrows that he knocks Jeez. across two fingers. And yeah, <laughs> that fires. Sweet. They all land in the uh, like in in between the shoulder of where his armor is like not plated as mm -hmm. well, and he immediately drops like that arm goes limp as he's just like ah says, and like hey, you better watch out. You better not cry. He spins around and his eyes flash, uh, and he's going to use a legendary action to cast Twinkle. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. I would love oh, to. boy, he's about to become evil. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be great for the rest of us. We just watched you murder him. That is a 26. A 26 is going to succeed. Really? You feel a presence press against your mind, uh, but immediately, like, Close your mind off to it and uh, avoid the uh, in, in, avoid the domination uh, that he was trying to cast. Um, okay, Ooh, end of your turn. Um, Dolph, you're up with Scott on deck. Sick. So Dolph's going to fly over whatever is leap. Let's say leap over mm -hmm. whatever is between him and Santa Prime. Okay, and using his amazing athletic ability. He's going to wedge himself between Santa and the uh, Santa snow globe. Make a shove attack. You've got to beat 75 points of damage in one turn. <laughs> That's the current record. Could, can I um, do something uh, just terrible real quick? Mm -hmm. Is uh, Actually, with the stacked second hunter's mark, there should be an additional 15 points of damage. Of course there is. <laughs> Which makes for 90. <laughs> oh, you were so close to 100. Almost at the trips. Half of his HP and one. <laughs> Just about. Just this three, but good ones. This is where the DM pulls a, oh, he's undead out of his ass. <laughs> and he dies and then comes back with the same HP. That would be great for me. Mm -hmm. I've done that once or twice. <laughs> I know. That's who I'm talking about. <laughs> you said a shove attack. Yeah. So, would be strength, <laughs> athletics. Uh, 21. Damn it. He rolled a 19. Um, so you shove him five feet. So he will move five feet back. And he takes three points Giving of you the chance to scoot into the space. And you are now next to him and the globe. Sweet. Um, he's... Okay, so I have two more attacks. Then, yeah, if I frenzy... Or is the frenzy start on the next one? 
Uh, you before raged uh, as a bonus action after. before. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I can do the frenzy attack, but it doesn't activate until the next one. Okay. So, shove attack, that was one. Mm-hmm. He's going to whip around mm-hmm. and um, attack the snow globe. Like, yeah. like, like just punch it off. Mm-hmm. Just nice. those gr- London sounds. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack on the snow globe. A natural 20. <laughs> Plus nine. Didn't you say Rocky Three was your favorite Rocky? Yeah, two, two, yeah, two episodes ago, Incredible. and I got a chance to play crazy. Dolph Lundgren. Incredible. Oh yeah. Crazy, if crazy. Michelle, I love that you're. I didn't to occur to me bit. until like five minutes ago. I was like, oh, I do I'll love do Dolph. I'll do one with you. Why do you yeah. keep doing yeah. this? Going really damage. That hits. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm in danger. I think. And we oh, still either here. pomegranate or so old bandage. Free, freely speaking as well. You're either rotten egg. I'm going to yell. Hey, Scott, toss me your snow globe. You are the one true Santa. Again? <laughs> Jeez. Over oh, four. That's no joke. That's the same confusing one I had so earlier. So did you get dirty I couldn't tell if it was good or yeah. bad. Oh. And it tastes like plastic. It really does. Like, yeah. no joke. It's just enough. Oh, wait, no, the candy cane. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that what candy boogers candy. taste like? I don't know. So my uh, chuck it is sugar for boogers. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I, I don't just know don't if like Calvin will let me catch it at this point uh, because I've just used up everything. Unless he lets me ha- catch it with a um, with a bonus action, but um, okay, fifteen points of damage. Fifteen points of damage. <laughs> you eighteen points of damage. You strike uh, on it and cause a spidering of yeah. cracking across it, it as you button. spin around and grab the. Uh, snow globe out of the earth. That one nice. I know. Actually, okay. make this interesting. Make a dexterity check. Oh, back. Yeah, dead. Drew, what's the problem? Which uh, one is that? <laughs> that's a, that's a stink got, bug jelly bean for you. Dirty socket, you yeah. better eat a piece of gum before you go hang out with your girlfriend. <laughs> I got gum in the car all Ooh. the time for exactly that reason. A death. You're going to smell like you're dead. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> The true challenge. Hey, 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 come here and kiss me. A seven? Yeah. <laughs> so you catch it and drop it. Bad. I drop your snow globe. I'm about to pack one like a dip when I go home. <laughs> it explodes. It takes uh, two points of damage and uh, cracks significantly. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, <laughs> but it is, on the, it is on the floor. It is on the floor. Um, and as you uh, look at that and panic... Uh, San is going to take uh, Father Christmas is going to take a, another legendary action, and he's going to hit you with um, joy to the world. He's going to hit you with a little elf helper uh, <laughs> as he looks at you and goes <laughs> enough and slams his scythe on the ground, and you uh, watch as this uh, this this cabinet opens up and about three or four elf. Uh, elves come flying out of it as he like looks over at them and you see this like magic kind of like grab them and yank them towards you uh, as he's going to throw them at you and they're going to hit you or okay. going to attempt to hit you. It's awesome. That is going to be a 17 to hit. Yep. Okay. So all of them are going to hit and you're going to take all three are going to hit and you're going to take this damage in this order. Uh-huh. I mean, the first one is <laughs> seven points of fire damage. The second one is sixteen points of bludgeoning damage. That will be half because you are raging. And the third one is twelve points of force damage. As he shunts these elves in your direction, they impact with you. Uh, and you hear the screams as their bodies either burst into flames, are crushed against the force, or just uh, hit you and immediately just crumple from the impact. Um, as that is that legendary action. That ends his turn. Well, that was very rude. Um, uh, just so we all know, I'm reducing that using my one instance of Stone's Endurance. So I'm taking 20 instead of 27. Okay. Nice. All right. End of your turn. Scott's up north on deck. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to look at my hands again. And be like, I guess I'll try this again. <laughs> <laughs> kind of holds his hands out winking. Mm-hmm. 
grimacing, and I'm gonna cast uh, Firebolt again. Just so I'm clear, you're casting a cantrip on the final fight of a level <clears throat> ten one shot. Piss your spells Get away. Him. Just, I'm just making sure yeah, you are a sorcerer. I will <laughs> never get to cast these spells again. I mean, you okay, might as well on, use them. <laughs> just, just putting it out there. You can also be a level, so it does more. You have little. You have a literal mid max DM next to you who could be telling you <laughs> how to make this a really powerful <laughs> and spell. And also, dude, we know he has 200 health points. Space and I and made him for 90. I can use. I can't, or I will kill everyone. <clears throat> But it would be funny. But it would be hilarious to watch. And oh, as yeah. someone funny. that's done that in a one shot, it can lead to a longer term story. The, the, the one guy who keeps putting himself directly next to the guy Mr. that's Bruce going to get all the things yep. that aimed at him, he knows he knows he's Tesla. put him, himself in the this light. Is a, of fire. It's an that interesting a conundrum really too, which is if you hurt each other and you bamf out of existence, what do the three of us do? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Scott, do it. Holy you are the one. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Wait a hold second. On. Hold on. What did you just do to Will? Clock's ticking. I'm looking at it. So. <laughs> okay. So before I do this, I want to make sure that I, I just go do something else first. Okay, so I'm going to first walk over to uh, north. And then... You I... are in... Uh, you are in Santa's... Uh, you are in I Santa's area of opportunity. He will take an attack oh, if you walk towards okay. north. What? You are in Santa's in like field of attack. You will get an opportunity to attack if you walk towards north. Uh, hold on. I don't think I will. Yes, you will. Uh, Here to tell you. I don't feel like it. <laughs> I've decided not said to. Yes. I don't want to. Oh, These are right here classes. we go. He's gonna any, do something, any, and any, he's gonna any, roll any, dice. So many dice, die. gonna hurt yeah. evil Hope Santa. So. Like steel, we'll see. Remember the thing we talked about. Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin. <laughs> ben Franklin. I think said Anne they Franklin. They can't go against <laughs> <my face. laughs> like, Oh my God, Anne Franklin would be awesome. They can't. She discovered electricity, but no, couldn't they, talk about it. It's trapped in that Because I got a big head. Will's got a real narrow face. I got a wide face. You do have a wide face. So, ironically, at work this morning, uh, I was talking to Calvin and Matt about the dangers of making a character for one shot, because the more stuff you put into that character, the more paralyzed you get on mm -hmm. your turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Spells are hard to deal with in one shot. That's why Ranger is perfect. Fine, I'll take a little bit Rogue of attack right and I'll move out. As well. You're going you're gonna to take the opportunity attack? Sick. Yeah. Come on, Scott. Don't forget about does a 27 hit? Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah. What a Our tool. poor little sorcerer. <laughs> Man, okay, my plan is done. My <laughs> plan is done. Mm -hmm. like I thought he was the one number. through Santa. And we my rule starts with the three. Is the ruler that of all. <laughs> 29 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> As he spins the scythe round and right into your back you feel the energy of your body as ice crawls through your veins and you watch as the energy pumps through the scythe as he retracts it and it now glows with this just kind of like unearthly kind of like red now kind of matching the crimson of his uh, of his armor but yeah so you now walk up to you walk up to north gravely wounded but still alive what do you do so uh, I am going to uh, touch him on the shoulder and I am going to cast Dragon's Breath. So <laughs> you now have uh, the ability to breathe fire. Okay, good to know. If you want it. Don't know if I'm going to get close enough to use that. It's a cone. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, how far does it extend, though? 15 feet. Yeah. I'm a ranger with a bow. And you're we'll also ready to breathe fire. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you shoot a bow for 15 sure feet. And then I'm going to turn and look at him, and I am going to... <laughs> I'm going to cast Immolation. <laughs> no breathing. <laughs> this cast this freaking twice. Okay. Tell me what I'm doing here. I put your character in the microwave on popcorn. <laughs> Target must make a dexterity saving throw. It takes it, uh, it takes eight d6 fire damage on a fail save. Okay. Or half on a success. 
Okay. That's a lot of fire damage. Go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll your damage. And it's a concentration spell, and he keeps burning. It takes forty-six on the start of every turn. That is absurd. <laughs> it is a fifth level. So. Eight D six, a lot of eights, a lot of D sixes. Eighty six? Yeah, eighty six. I'm testing the limits of how far down my nose I can put this without it falling off. It's gonna my ears. it's gonna take a while. Well, I'm saying it's about to fall off my ears already. Uh, I know I've still got plenty of nose real estate. Okay. How much? 20. 20 points of damage? Really? That's six. Oh, I think it's, yeah, two more. 24. 24. Nice. All right. So you exactly <laughs> the fire cascades up his body uh, as he uh, is going to go and use a legendary resistance to save from that. So he takes half the damage uh, and just kind of laughs. <laughs> Not today. As he steps through the fire and lets it just kind of burn across his body. Um, and in your turn. So freaking North, you're up with 2077 on deck. All righty. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh fire arrows as I run out of his melee range. <laughs> You're not in his melee range. Oh, cool. Well, then I'll definitely stay doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and cast Hail of Thorns. Yeah, you are. Go Ooh. for it. Piss that sucker away. So, uh, first attack. Save, Dolph. Yep, so I'm going to fire thrice, or twice. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Uh, two, let's see. Seventeens. Uh, AC is 18. So yeah, that's both a miss. bummer. And, well, that's literally all I can do. Damn. The, the Hail of Thorns still. Uh, it's, it damage. activates yeah, it still next time I hit. So it stays active, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, dang. Um, do, 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 do. Let me make sure. Uh, were there any of the elves still alive around? The bodies that hit Dolph are all dead. Okay, cool. That's all I need to know. Uh, then that will be the end of... Hold on. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. All right, 2077, you're up. Mantis Blades come out, mm -hmm. and as I kind of, like, do that horrible grinding on metal sound, I'm going to start slowly walking over towards them, saying, Here comes Santa Claus. Yes! Ooh, <laughs> good job. Uh, as I kind of just briefly kind of just quickly step up and go into do a fury of slashes towards him. Go ahead and roll your attacks. Nice. Uh, first one definitely doesn't hit. With a dirt tank. Mm -hmm. We started Second off one. so hot. Definitely doesn't hit. So both first slashes miss. I'm then <laughs> going to do um, action surge Yeah. to make an additional strike. Mm -hmm. yeah. That hits. 24. Nice. That hits. Um, with that strike as well. Can you deal 91 points of damage with that strike? Nope, definitely cannot <laughs> Let's do that. Let's see it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use a um, one of my maneuvers. Mm -hmm. I don't need to uh, maneuvers? Uh, Maneuver McGonagall. I'm going to use the maneuvering attack. Mm -hmm. So I can, uh, I'll add damage to the, the roll. On top of, I can tell someone who's within the, like, radius around the creature that I'm fighting mm -hmm. to use the reaction to get out without provoking opportunity attack. So I'm going to... Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no one's... He moved already. He moved already. Never mind. I won't do that, though. <laughs> wait, I'm still in there. I'll do... Well, cause nah, you're, I just stay in there. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> I'll instead do uh, goading attack, then. Okay. When it, so whenever I hit, he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Wisdom saving throw from him. Yeah, 16... That's a two. All right, so he has, he's failed it. Mm -hmm. He has disadvantage on all attacks against creatures that aren't me. Mm. Nice. Damn. Uh, so he's going to take also, because I haven't done damage yet. Um, <laughs> this is a good game. 15 plus four. So 19 points 19 of damage. points of damage. 
as, I as just you slash across. You, him. You're scraping across his armor for a couple of the hits, but you finally can get up into the plates and do a couple good scabs, uh, enough for him to turn his attention to yeah. you. And then can I take a step back away? Yeah. Provoking an attack on him. Sure. Uh, well, he's already and, taken his reaction this turn. Oh, so. true. Like, yeah. I feel like he's about to say. I'm just gonna yeah. back up away from him. I'll say however much movement I still have. So I don't okay. Know. Just kind of just like backing up. Back in there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Readying myself. Okay. Uh, end of your turn. It is now Father Christmas's turn. Father Christmas is uh, going to look at all of you and goes. Enough! This is not how this is supposed to go! As he grabs his sight and slams it on the ground, you watch as ice appears across the ground, and you look up on the ceiling as clouds swirl around before hail begins to uh, patter on the ground. He's going to cast Ice Storm. Nice. And that is a 20-foot radius, so everybody is around here as this ice pelts you. You need to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, and I'm going to roll the damage for this. Oh. And I'll tell you what it is halved into. Oh, we're so good. Uh, two, three, and four. What's the So you will take 20 points collectively if you failed, 10 points if you succeed. Nice. Of uh, cold and bludgeoning. What's the DC? Uh, DC uh. is 18. Ooh. Yeah. We can barely so make that. Saved. Saved, you take 10 points. And then have because that means it's resistant to cold. <laughs> so five. Nice. Should you take Path of the Storm Herald? Just uh He's uh, just a Goliath. Goliath. Um, oh, nice. All right. This side of the table is Goliath's. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So he's going to cast that first. Second thing he's going to do is he's going to look at Dolph and go, perhaps you would like to tell Santa what you want this year. As his eyes, he's going to cast Twinkle again. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, boy. Oh, and well, we you can't, don't think I'm and we can't right with fight wisdom? each other. Weird. Mm, 15. 15. That is a failure. You are now dominated by him. That's hot. You think you uh, can be dominated while I'm... I, can, I don't think I can be dominated while I'm raging. If I can't be charmed, will? Oh, I think domination. I'm pretty sure is a charmed effect. I think. It's good to have Will back. I think. I mean, makes I think. Sense. <laughs> Varsity Will's here, baby. Dolph just looks back DM'd into in his like beady year, little so. eyes. <laughs> the twinkle in Actually, his eye. Dolph DM'd, just smirks. For the mini series, Wild Magic School Bus. Check that out. Icewind Dale. Oh my gosh, cool. stop plugging your own stuff, Will. Way to Will. plug your own stuff, Will. Oh, I plug. It's like Calvin's stuff. But like That's true. Kind of, kind of my thing, but kind of his thing. What if in every Valorant match that you play on the varsity team that you're on at your college, you just said, so the Wild Magic School Bus. All right, here we go. <laughs> they just really pump those numbers. They don't have our comms in. <coughs> which is probably for the best. <laughs> that would be awesome if they had your comms in. That would be awesome. There's so much bro because you can't swear at a Christian college. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. I've, I've listened to my son play video games. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you think that there isn't swearing at a Christian college. <laughs> it's valid. It's valid. They're actually vehemently racist. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's why they can't yeah, do calls. That's Overwatch right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, right on. Just bold faced racism. <laughs> <laughs> the dark side of e sports. Hard R and everything. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. So. Um, advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Make melee attack weapons. Get a bonus. And you have resistance. This is nothing about. Mindless rage. You can't be charmed or frightened while raging. Okay. Very well. Great. You made the DM mad. Good job, Drew. You couldn't have just been dominatrix uh, instead. Okay. I'm dominated. Nope. <laughs> Santa's going to look at you and go, Is this dominate person? Yeah. Shut up, Will. Put your phone down. Uh-oh. Put your phone down. Will, put your phone down. Will, put your phone down. <laughs> what? What are you looking at? <laughs> no! no, no. <laughs> it works. It works. It works. It's a charmed effect. He is can't it? be charmed. Well, I just, Dominate is a charmed I, effect. Is it? It is a charmed effect. Oh, okay. All right. It says creature is charmed. That's what the verb says. He can't be charmed there because of minus rage. Okay. So he's just going like, to go and hit yeah. you. Because I looked up something. Like, yeah, but he no, did, he, but, but he did try, effect. right? <clears throat> he did try to charm you, and it didn't and work. He said, and he said, don't you yeah, want to tell Santa yeah. what you want for Christmas? Yeah. 
Woo. Your job. Haha. <laughs> oh, so he doesn't he could, mean... He gets straight up killed. No! As he's gonna swing his scythe at you. Oh, he's, that is a... Did you have disadvantage? I'm about to. Okay. <laughs> I was like, he can't hit There's me. There's a 26. Oh, what the frick? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and another 26. That was disadvantage. What the? Uh, 13s on both of them, and then uh, 18 and 19 hit on the... Hit me twice? Oh. oh, yeah. His scythe attack is two, is two hits. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is necrotic damage, so it is. you do not have it. This is what happens when you make Calvin mad. Uh-huh. That is 24 points on the first one. Uh, and 19 on the second one. As wow, he, as he huh? swah, swah, and cuts into you and pulls <clears throat> the blood from your body, and as he does, you watch as the glowing on the scythe brightens even further. Um, that's going to end his turn. He is bloodied and beaten, but he looks determined one way or another to end your lives. Top of the round, Nick, you're up with Dolph on deck. Can you uh, show me the map here? Sure. Here is the map of where we are fighting right here in <clears throat> you know, real life. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take a couple steps over, so that I'm, so that Dolph is directly between myself and Father Christmas. Uh, let me make sure you should have enough. That's about That's ten feet of movement. Feet, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I'm just making sure because you are difficult terrain right now. Everything around you is difficult terrain because of the ice. You have a favorite train of the Arctic, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> well, this doesn't... It, I, it may be that it's magical. It's so just it difficult terrain. It doesn't say, like, it's the Arctic, which means... Moving through, moving through non-magical difficult terrain costs Oh, this is magical. So this is magical. Anyway, 10 feet is 10 feet. 10 <clears> feet, <throat> 20 feet, you're good. Um, seeing the, the flash in Father Christmas's eyes as he tried to do the same thing to Dolph that he did to me. Oh, yeah. No effect. Yep. I'm going to need a wisdom saving throw from Father Christmas. Oh, sure. What's happening? Father Christmas. As he may absolutely blow me away here. Oh, that's a nat 20. Well, that's... Uh, um, so, uh, <laughs> to, to, to... You don't play, have to eat one on my account. I'm, I'm not going to stop until I get a good one. <laughs> <laughs> to to Could play it out, I, I step behind Dolph. I draw a fourth the arrow. Well, I, only I make eye one. contact like and I say... Three. You want to try this again? And I cast fear. Obviously, it does uh, not work because you rolled an app 20. Does but not work. I cast fear, and I just maintain my position with the blood right. drawn. He looks up at you, blood leaking from the side of his face, and just... Good one? <laughs> What's the flavor? <laughs> we are oh, five, five, is bad out out of we are five for five now on this. <laughs> five what for five, guys. That is a... Um, here's the thing. Yes. That's almost more impressive. That's a yeah, I think I had one good one out of this box yeah. so far. I've no, had you had two. I got the, the You've had five blueberry thing. Oh. Yeah, I got a blueberry one. All right, end of your turn. The blueberry uh, in the box. <sighs> no, do yeah. something else. I mean, my only other option is like a bonus mm -hmm. action. I don't really have. I've already got hunter's mark up. Uh, yeah, Dolph, that, you're that, up. That's it. Dolph, you're up. Scott on deck. Do it, Dolph. Do it. <laughs> Um, Scott, be ready. Pick a spell. <laughs> um, Spend time now. Dolph is going to take another shot at the uh, at, at destroying the snow globe. Roll for roll for your attack. Actually, it, real you could do that. I'm just real quick legendary action on you after as you say like you want to try that again. He looks up at you and goes like this, and he's going to cast missile blow. Uh, so he's going <laughs> to cast. Uh, Buy me a drink first. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to cast. Uh, this is just a uh, uh, magic missile, but enhanced, so it's just an auto hit. Okay. Nice. And it's going to be. Yeah, that magic missile auto hit is brutal. One way to that is. Shield. I don't have that. Yeah. I got 20, a lot going on. Twenty-one points of damage okay. from <laughs> these. I'm uh, gonna. I'm gonna roll my stones endurance. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to reduce that by 10. Okay. So 11, so 11 points, points, points of damage. damage. As he looks at you and you watch as uh, wreaths and garland hang all over the place immediately, like, solidify into, like, these, like, points and be begin to, like, stab into your body, causing more scars. 
Uh, but nothing you haven't seen before. Well, it isn't anything you've seen before, but it's still pretty fresh. <laughs> Dolph, what are you doing? 18 on the snow bill. 18 hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, 19 points of damage. 19 points of damage. <laughs> it is completely cracked, but not shattered. Ooh, one more thing. All right. Plus one. No, for... In your no. rage? Yeah, no. Nope, you get bonus um, to damage. 16? 16 does hit. Oh, good. <laughs> Great. I like that suspense. It's a snow globe, has no armor. Uh, <laughs> and it's made of glass. <laughs> and it's also made of glass. Uh, 17? 17. And with that, you strike it one more time. It shatters. As a blizzard erupts from the snow globe and strikes the entire room in a cacophony of cold and ice. I need everyone here to make constitution saving throws. I'm so conned up. He's also going to roll, just so you guys are aware. <laughs> Give me a few seconds to kind of, like, get everything all linked up here. I will tell you, DC's, uh, uh, DC for this is 20 for this goal. That's going to be a fizzy. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to indomitable and retry. Uh, Santa's going, uh, 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 Father Chris is also going to fail this roll. Dang it. Do I have anything that would help me here? My first roll was off by one. Oof. Uh, I do not. (laughs) You, if you succeed, uh, you take half damage. If you fail, you're going to take 56 points of cold damage uh, from this blizzard just... Uh, and Santa's also going to take that, uh, but halved if you are <laughs> resistant to it. So he takes how much cold damage? Uh, for uh, fifty-six. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't bring a healer with us, did we? <laughs> no, of course not. So you said you this is a, It's essentially like it's a, a lightning arrow. Blizzard happened yeah. immediately. Yeah. Did he serve it upside down? No. Get a heal. I know, right? You got to give for free at this point. Dolph, is that all you do? Blizzard really hurt. Yeah. So did you I'll bet. did you have that? Yeah. That, that is tw- that was what twenty eight points of damage did. Um Are you out? No. I'm assuming you have like three HP left. Six Just that the, twice. Uh, <laughs> So Dolph has one attack left and slash Dolph wants to try to put the one true Santa snow globe on the plinth under the bright shining light. He wants to put Scott's snow globe mm-hmm. on and the Scott's plinth. Scott's not even listening. No. Nope. Mm-hmm. Okay. You put it on there. last dying breath. All right. You put it on there. Is that even unconscious yet? <laughs> Set it on there. Sick. Okay. Is that a new turn? And he just turns and stares. What's Santa doing? What's bad Santa doing? Uh, Father Christmas is on his knees, his scythe in one hand, like breathing heavy. The the cold out of his mouth mixed with the spittle and blood from the parts of his body that are bleeding. But he looks up. One eye is almost closed shut uh, due to swelling, but the other one is like wide and staring just hate at. Think of uh, Anakin Skywalker on Mustafar, just like red and just anger. Uh, emanating from this eye. Oh, ass chap right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's end of your turn. Scott, you're so, up, sir. A couple of things. So I just glare at Santa. You glare just at Santa. Smiling. smiling. Uh, mm-hmm. For one, I, on that check, I rolled a uh, nat 20 plus my 5. So does that do anything for damage at all? You have the damage. That's it, even on a nat? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
That's yeah. the cool thing about saving throw spells. You're always gonna area of effect <laughs> spells are very nice for DMs because it means we just make a blanket statement. No, we did. Yeah. You the, got okay, sized so and the then other frozen, thing didn't is, you? <laughs> is you said it was a blizzard, mm-hmm. essentially, right? Yes. Wind and snow. Mm-hmm. I have something called a storm guide. It's a special. Uh huh. It says you can gain the ability to subtly, subtly control the weather around you. Mm. If it is rain. Use an action to cause the rain to stop falling in a 20 feet radius. Sure. Uh, if it's windy, you can use a bonus action windy. each round to choose the direction that the wind blows in mm-hmm. a 100 foot radius. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna assume that because it does say a bonus action in there that I can't use this. You can use your bonus action to do it. To pull up to. This back towards Santa, like or Father. Christmas. It would be after the effect happened. Okay. So, it, what essentially happens is as it boom, bursts out and everyone like gets blinded by this snow, it immediately for the for the moment you feel the pain and the the daggers of ice uh, hitting your body, and then it stops and <laughs> disapparates as everyone looks and. Scott Santa is holding his hand out and the blizzard is now in a ball of concentrated energy in his hand. Okay. As a uh, bonus action. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then can I release that back to him? Mm-hmm. Like hit him with a snowball of blizzard? Yeah. That's amazing. A blizz bowl? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so you don't have that. So you have to tell me what you want me to do on that. To fire it back at him? Yeah. He rolled a hit. You played D&D, man. You Make know a spell attack that. Roll, that. roll to D&D hit. Like... Ooh. It's an 18. 18? 18? Yeah. Hits. Nice. And, and uh, now. So I will... Catch it and then release it. Okay. Back to him. You want to know how much I rolled? How much? Eight <laughs> d ten. Oh. I need you to roll eight d ten damage. Cool. I got these. He's the true Santa man. These cheese dice. The cheese d ten. The, the rest of us just Eight drop dead at his feet. That would solve all of my character's problems. <laughs> we all realized that the only yeah, thing that any of us problem. needed was the sweet release of I death. Mean, yeah. need, death, sweet uh, embrace is what I saved us all. Five. Thrilling than doing math on a podcast. Super mm. thrilling. Yeah, <laughs> this is great, guys. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, talk, talk. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Doing a great, doing a great job. I know, okay, it's, I know so it's late, but. While all of this is happening, mm-hmm. Dolph is just staring uh, at Sa- Santa, 54. and he's like, Father Christmas. Father it's Christmas. It's the halfway mark. And he's like, 44 points of damage. How many did you have left? Uh, I think it was like 18. Yeah, 18. Yeah, it's pretty low. It was 18. Now it is Scott Calvin do this. Yeah. Come on, one true Santa. Uh well as Remember, this, in this this happens, scene, like there is you like you have your snowball on that plinth. Your, your snow globe, globe has just been placed on the plinth by Rudolph. The red nose Santa. So when this effect happens, it kind of like swirls air mm-hmm. around mm-hmm. Uh, him, and uh, I think he kind of like fully uh, turns into Santa, mm-hmm. and then he just releases. The snow cascades across his face, turning his hair from gray to pure white yeah. as he <laughs> releases it, and you watch as Father Christmas. <laughs> and immediately crystallizes into this 
ice form of Santa before <laughs> shattering into thousands of pieces. Ha! My eyes again. <laughs> <laughs> Not again, this happens. Uh, as he dissipates I, why I stand into, so close to ice all the time. As he dissipates into nothingness. As you have defeated Santa Claus. Got him. As Yay. this happens, as you all kind of sit there and take a moment to be like, holy moly. Um, you watch as uh, the ice settles, a quiet kind of falls on the house, and you hear the sounds of... <laughs> You look over uh, at a uh, jar, a giant vase in one corner, and it's like rattling, and you hear a knocking on it, and someone... I release the arrow that I've been holding and <laughs> shatter the vase. <laughs> uh, climbing out of it is this spindly-looking uh, spindly looking man dressed in red, uh, like, uni-pajamas with, like, the flap on the back, wearing a uh, hat and, like, a scraggly white beard, and he's... Eh! Yeah. You did it! You killed him! Congratulations! Oh, sorry! Chris Kringle, pleasure to meet you. Which universe? Ironically, this one. Who's that guy? How many hit points does he have? Who you, who you see? <laughs> no, no, let me explain! Let me, let me explain! <laughs> you see, this was Father Christmas. But before that, he had a different name, Father Time. And you see, Father Time is a little envious of what he gets. Every year, he has to regenerate and has to become a new person, dies and becomes a baby. Well, this Father Time decided that he wanted to be a new patron of a new holiday. So he came to my world and said, I'm going to be Christmas. And I said, there you are. So he shoved me in a vase. Not very effective, but it works. You were just in there? It wasn't like magic? You were just in there? Oh, I was sealed in there magically. Oh. I don't know what area you shot, but it was pretty effective. You just put me in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see how big I am? Anyway, he takes over my world and decides in order to truly be Santa over everything, he has to kill all the other Santas. Hence, why he brought you here. But you did it! You killed him! First ones That's after literal not. hundreds of them. Does that mean there's hundreds of worlds without a Santa? Unfortunately, yes. That is the price that these other Santas paid for their folly in following Father Christmas to an untimely demise. Shame, really. Well, I suppose you all want to go back to your own world, no. yes? No. No? No, not what, yet. What? No, all right. I've got the taste for blood, Santa blood. Okay. <laughs> well, Your weak, small Santa and the big Santa was trying to take over for you. This makes sense to me. Why did we stop big Santa from... This is one true Santa. Kill him. Like you kill the last Santa and become the top Santa. First, what? So first of all, so that little blizzard thing, uh -huh. did we take all that damage first and then I sucked it in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you look back at me thinking you're gonna do that, and I'm down on my knees with blood just dripping out of my nose and stuff. Uh, I had two hit points left. <laughs> oh, shoot! These two are <laughs> intrinsically connected. Nice. <laughs> Damn. Well, wish so I could you help you. That to happen, you're gonna help me up to my feet. <laughs> yeah, if only okay. I had. Not if a only I had <laughs> some. Uh, I help you up to your feet, and we attack. If only I had some healing. Okay, so if this is... That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, well, I only hear my friends. And that one threatened me. He looks up at Dolph. Listen, listen, listen. We've all got worlds to go back to. Yes. We've got our own places to be Santa. This guy, he comes from a world with no Santa because, you know, he killed Santa. That's true. So yeah. we, we do kind of need him back yeah, there. Yeah, we should let him Santa. get back to taking care of that. And now, I still have to go eat my Santa. Now, so. now, now, Dolph, yeah. I do... Would you be interested? Yes. I know you have this Santa bloodlust, but uh, I think me and North Wind have got some goblins and Grinches to take care of. 
You come along with us for a while. Sure, we stop Santa. by my place, say the feast on old dead Santa first, and then go kill the goblin. Uh, sure. uh, it's frozen. Yeah. He will keep. His corpse will keep. It'll be fine. Uh, okay, let's go. It's a great idea. Right. It seems like we've got places to be. Sorry, yes. Santa. I'm just really trying to figure out all the ins and outs of this. You know, it's just confusing things. No, no. Are... I totally understand. Um, anyhow, seems that you're now all friendly like. Uh, I can send you all back to your worlds. Diggity split. Yeah. Hold on. Take a cookie. So, I'm going to move back into this, like, yes. space on the map. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, no. Uh huh. It's a true it. Santa. And then I'm going to yeah. say. You're right. <laughs> all of you guys. <laughs> you, oh, just, no. you don't have want the juice. All of you. Mm -hmm. you know the juice. All of you want to do is just kill people. You don't want to bring Christmas. Mm -hmm. You don't want to bring joy to anyone. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast Fireball into the room. <laughs> gonna, Chris Kringle's going to snap his fingers and cast Banishment on you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, and you immediately, as you hold out your hand, the fire emulates and <laughs> he's gone. No, <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Yeah. Hey, you're welcome. He's <laughs> Merry Christmas! And he snaps his fingers again, and one by one, <laughs> <laughs> you all are banished back to your worlds. Uh, as you leave this world and drift off into your own nights, Chris Kringle looks at the screen and goes, Merry Christmas to all! And to all, a good night. And then it. So did <laughs> Iris closes. <laughs> Bamf me. Da, 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 that's all. That's all. You just bamf me back to my own house. Yeah. And then you fireball your own house. <laughs> <laughs> fireball your own house. <laughs> and that. And that's the music. That's where we will leave it. <laughs> that is the true music. After giving a speech, <laughs> Charlie. No, no. Hey, he's just a gold. That's the Maddie B, you know what I think that earns is um, one more pull from the bean box just on your way out. Just, yeah, for one for the road. The inspiration you were given Never use the inspiration. Never once. Did blow up his kid. Yeah. The gift 100%. The bean box. <laughs> a green? Yeah. What's green? Uh, booger or juicy pear? Uh. It doesn't taste like... It's not juicy pear. That's this all the time I... we have for today. <laughs> Reminders, uh, uh, thank you all Maybe so much for watching. Thank you all so much for playing. Like have a very, very Merry New Year. Uh, enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you all next time on the Wame School Bus. Goodbye, everybody! Bye. See you all later, later losers. <laughs> see you in a year! Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I'll you one. Right now. Thank you. Um, oh, so earlier today, um, I had a beautiful like flash of wit that like occurs so rarely, but it was great. So I was in Target, and there was a dude in AT and T shirt that was talking to an old lady, and was like, "Who do you use for your internet provider and stuff?" And she was like, "She's like, I don't know. My husband takes care of the internet. I have nothing. To do. I don't even know who I have for an internet." So like he like left her alone, and I was rounding the corner, and I was trying to like get past real quick so I wouldn't have to talk to him and he goes ma'am I see you have a phone there you know who's your who's your cell phone provider <laughs> he's like who's your cell phone provider and I said hey man you know lots of day like I'm not interested in doing anything and he goes well they require me to ask <laughs> and I said well they don't require me to answer <laughs> so I just walked away <laughs> Yeah. I was I literally wow. like kicked my foot up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went like this. I went like, they don't require me to answer. Peace that's out. Funny. I felt so good. Like the whole strut to the cash mm -hmm. registers was like mm. well, well done. That's the last well time he <laughs> mouths off to I someone. Hope, well, it pissed me off so instantly because like if I say like hey no, I'm not about no, that. You're well, acknowledging it. You're going to talk to 100 people today. Mm -hmm. I'm not it. I'm not the one clearly. You didn't so, say don't freaking and talk to me, you loser. Oh, it felt, <laughs> it felt so disrespectful to me that I was just instantly angry of like, I said, leave me alone. Like, yeah. don't keep... Just stop meeting my gaze. <gasps> don't. 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 Stop. Don't. No. Stop it. Don't meet my... Eyes are up here and you have not heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no. Hold on. Heard that. That's good. Like a whistle or something?